Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews. I am Eric, and today I'm super excited to talk about these two awesome products from a company called Sandmark. If you have not heard of Sandmark, they make some of the uh, coolest, most amazingly awesome uh, filmmaking accessories for phones, for mobile filmmaking. Uh, they do focus a lot on iPhones, but they also, a lot of, both accessories I'm going to be reviewing today, you can use them with any phone, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you do that. Uh, but let's look at these. First, we have the 1.33 anamorphic lens. Gives you a super wide cinematic effect. Uh, adds a little bit of lens flare when there's lighting. Just gives you, helps you accomplish a really, truly cinematic look when you're filming with your phone. Super cool. And then this gadget, this is the film grip. And this just allows you to stabilize footage because you can use your hands and grip both sides have your phone in here and uh, you've got you can put accessories on here so it allows you to use accessories but also most importantly the reason you would use this is it really uh, is a lot easier to get a nice stable uh, uh, cinematography and filming when you're using a grip like this rather than just holding your phone now as I talk about these products I'm gonna jump cut in footage uh, that I took using these so you can see them in action uh, but I want to tell you up front, at the end of my review, the last thing I'm going to do, I made two 30-second films. Uh, similar situation, filming, taking my dog on a walk uh, at the river, and I filmed one just using my iPhone without these accessories, and then I filmed again using both the stabilizer as well as this lens, and so you can, you'll be able to see what two films, what the difference in those two films are going to look like using these accessories versus not using these accessories. So that is going to be at the end of the review. So let's talk really quick about each of these. I'm going to start with the anamorphic lens. Again, 1.33 anamorphic lens. So it gives you that extra wide uh, view. It's a really uh, cool uh, cinematic look to all of your filming because of that wide view. Uh, it also gives you a little bit of a lens flare. So if you're uh, taking uh, filming something with a lighting source, any light that hits the lens because of that anamorphic quality, it gives it kind of this cool lens flare. You've seen that in movies. Uh, a lot of sometimes they will use an anamorphic lens specifically to give that look because it just gives it a, a specific style and look. Uh, and so you can see that. So that's really, really cool. Now, this lens, it does come with a lens cap cover as well as a cover on the back. The cover on the back, I wish it was rubber instead of plastic because sometimes it's a little bit hard to get off. Uh, but it, uh, it is plastic, but it, I'm glad that they have that because it is very protective. It's really easy to attach this. Now, if you have an iPhone, when you order this, you order this for the specific phone and you will get, as part of the package, you will get a case just like this. It's a very thin case. It's not a case you're going to leave on your phone all the time as a protective case. Uh, it's more of a case that you put on your phone when you're going to use this because it has uh, the, the screw ends on two lenses to screw and attach this in. And it's really easy. You just kind of twist and then twist and twist it on. Once you get it on there, then you uh, there's a little mark on the lens here that you use to line it up correctly uh, with the mark on the case. And that's how you know you have the lens in the right position. So very easy works really really great with this case i mean there's no guesswork you put it on there it's on the lens it's it's going to work really great now if you want to have you're going to be using this a lot uh and again you know this isn't something that you're using for you just randomly are taking film because you're not going to have this in your pocket with you all the time but if you are using your film for making for for videoing for making films you're going out and you're going to be uh filming something specific that's when this really it comes into play and in that case you have the option if you're doing a lot of that they do have other cases on their website that are more permanent cases have MagSafe built into them offer more protection and have these so that is something you can buy separately but this comes with the lens uh, which is really really cool that's not the only way you can attach it though you do also have this nice clip and using this clip you can screw the lens into there and then you can clip this onto any phone uh, be it an iPhone uh, or any Android phone. You could even put this on the camera on the front if you're doing self selfie. And you, for so whatever reason you want to do anamorphic filming on a selfie film, you can. Uh, but it has this nice clip, which is great. It does also come with this nice little pouch to hold everything in. 
Uh, comes with an Allen wrench, or actually the Allen wrench goes with this, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but I've got it all in here. And uh, you've also got this nice uh, cleaning cloth to make sure you keep your lens clean. Uh, now, filming with this, I love it. I just love the look that I got with it. I love that lens flare. Uh, you, you'll, you're going to see in the footage how it just does. It just immediately gives your uh, footage a cool uh, cinematic look. Now, one thing you do need to know, uh, it is squeezing that, that, that super wide film. It is squeezing it into your normal frame. So you either have to use your video editing uh, software, so just Final Cut Pro to de-squeeze it, uh, which is easy to do. Um, or if you, you, there are some apps such as Filmic Pro is one of those apps that you want to pay. It's a paid app, and that app allows you to de-squeeze on the phone. So you can actually see on the phone. You'll be filming. You'll be able to see exactly how you're filming with that wide screen. And there are obvious advantages to being able to see exactly how it's going to look. Uh, once it's de-squeezed on your phone because it's de-squeezing as it's recording, which is great. Uh, but I used, uh, all the footage that I took, I used the built-in app because uh, I just wanted to use the built-in app so you could see, you know, compare apples to apples. So I just used the built-in uh, iPhone app for filming. I did not use any special apps for that. And then to de-squeeze the footage, I just did that in Final Cut Pro afterwards. So um, that's it. And uh, it's just really, a, it is amazing uh, the awesome, great lens, just gives a really cinematic uh, look. It, it works great. It's high quality. Uh, really, if you're looking for an anamorphic lens, this is definitely the one to get. Uh, they do also have 1.55, but this is the 1.33. Now, the film grip. I love this thing. I mean, this is great. It does come with this phone holder already, so you can put your phone in there, uh, which is what I did. And it's just amazing how much more stable you can get your uh, hands while using this. Uh, even when I was using this to film the film you're going to see at the end, I, I didn't use any other stabilization. I just used my phone with the native video app, and then I used this, and even running alongside my dog, I could hold it like this so that it kind of balances itself uh, as, I'm, as I'm running and doing the ninja walk, but then doing other footage, holding it like this, having this grip, it really does make a huge difference with stabilizing your phone versus trying to hold your phone like this and film with just the phone, uh, which you can do, of course, but this just takes it to the next level. It just adds a huge element of uh, stabilization, being able to grip like this uh, or use one hand or like, it just gives you a lot more options. And then you do have all these great uh, screw holes in here and it comes with these nice uh, screws that you can use to attach a microphone or lighting. Uh, any of your accessories, you've got plenty of space. You've got this bar that comes out so that you can, you know, use this in different ways uh, to get different type of filming effects that you need to get or, or want to get with this. Um, just it, it opens up so many possibilities with all the features that it has. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it does come with this cool Allen wrench, uh, and you can use that to loosen these grips if you want to uh, take one of these out for for whatever reason. It just it's completely in your hands to use this and uh, the way that you want to use it and change the way it's set up to use it uh, what works best for you. But it's a simple device, but really awesome. Definitely a great, great product to help take your uh, filmmaking to the next level. So I promised I was going to show you the, the movies. I'm going to show you two movies. First, let's watch this 30 second film of my dog having a day at the river, the, the Southern California Concrete River, uh, just filming with just my phone and none of this, just using the built-in uh, video uh, on my phone and just holding my phone. So let's check that out. Okay, so you saw that. Now let's immediately jump over and similar film, uh, another day, and I took the, the anamorphic lens and the film grip uh, from Sandmark, attached, the, attached my phone to this, I have the lens on my phone. Now let's see what that looks like.
Okay, so you can see, uh, you know, the film just without this, it wasn't bad. It was it was good. It's 16.9, and uh, the the iPhone, of course, has that cinematic mode. I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, so I was able to use a cinematic mode. Um, you cannot use a cinematic mode with this lens, just so you know, because cinematic mode uses multiple lenses to do its magic. Um, also, the action button. You can't use the action stabilization thing uh, when you're using this because, again, it uses multiple lenses to do that. So that's important to know. Uh, so when I was using this, I was not using any of the built-ins, no cinematography mode, I mean cinematic mode, no action mode, just straight video. And you can see using this, even running alongside my dog, I was able to keep it really stable. Uh, you can use slow motion and it just gave it that really cool, it just feels more like a film. It feels more cinematic immediately when you have that extra wide screen. Uh, when you get a little bit of that lens flare, I didn't get as much on the dog thing because the only lightning source for that was the sun. But in some of the other footage that I got, you see how that lens flare just, it just gives it a cool look. It immediately feels more like a film, more cinematic, more dramatic, and uh, just gives it a cool look. And I just love this lens from Sandmark. I mean, it's a simple thing that just makes a world of difference. And then you add the film grip, which just uh, gives you more opportunities as a filmmaker, as a videographer, as a vlogger. It gives you the ability to get shots you couldn't get otherwise. It gives you the ability to uh, use your accessories in a way that uh, will give you better film footage in the end. So these two products together are just, like I said in the beginning, these will take your uh, iPhone or other phone filmmaking to the next level. If you do a lot of filming with your phone and you're looking to do that, you're looking to kind of step it up a notch, then the Sandmark Anamorphic Lens and the Sandmark Film Grip are definitely two products I would highly, highly recommend. That is going to be it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in any of these products, share the video with them. All those ways are down there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, favorite this playlist, keep up with future product reviews. If you have any questions about these, just post them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. That is going to be it. Until next time, so be safe and be happy.